What answer will you make to God if his life is ruined through you? Back to your house, Lady Windermere. Your husband loves you. He has never swerved a moment from the love that he bears for you. So you guys were in the graduate performance program last term and you were being taught by Hermione. Tell us why you're really excited about the graduate program. I'm really excited about the graduate program because I've learned so much from Hermione so far. She's helped us so much with our scripted monologues and everything that really helps with school. I'm really excited about the graduate program for the next term because I know it's going to be really geared towards getting everyone prepared with their practical exams and probably a little bit of the written with like the practitioners. And I'm excited for her to help us even more with things like improv and OSP prep and stuff like that that we're not so much like not too sure about at the moment. This is the one. Brendan is the one. I mean, Brendan. That should have been the giveaway, even if I had missed the miraculous medal hanging on the dashboard. But here he was, this vital, irate, caring man, who took three months to tell me that his marriage was a sacrament. So though he couldn't live without me, he couldn't live with me. It's really good just to get as much practice in as you can, which I know with Hermione, we'll be getting a lot of practice done, even if it is online. Ah. G'day. So did you read that new article in, I think it was called Pentecostal Weekly? <laughs> you know, I was featured in it. I think the most important thing when breaking down the monologue was Hermione taught us to write the first line of our monologue and then underneath that, so what are you saying? So you rephrase the line and then why are you saying it? And it like gives meaning as to why you're saying what you're saying. I may have wrecked my own life, but I will not let you wreck yours. Um, I found that when Hermione went through the whole process of when you first get your monologue to the end, so she starts off by telling you to read through for all the verbs, words you understand, and then she'll take you to, as what India described, the what's and why's, which helps bring lots more meaning to your monologue, and then Throughout the process, you get little idiosyncratic like gestures of your character that really make it more believable. There's this line here that she got us to repeat over and over again until we had it to the maximum level and then we brought the little hand gestures down when we spoke at a normal level. Yeah, so it's gonna be really fun even though it's online. Online. It's online. <laughs> That have wine in it. It's online. Mum. <laughs> online. <laughs> One more time. One, two. It's online. 